biggest issue, of course, is to get food to the people that really needs the food and still make money and a living as a farmer. Soil is the foundation for life, for nutritious food. Y este sí, hay habemos muchas personas que no sabemos de dónde viene la comida. La comida viene de la agricultura y específicamente todo viene de la tierra. Food as an immigrant, um, food is essential in our culture as a way to celebrate, as a way to com communicate, as a way to um, grieve, as a way to just come together as family, as friends. We were suggesting that things were wrong and we needed to do something different and that we had needed to have a better relationship with food. So growing our own food was something maybe we should look at doing. There's too few people that look at socially disadvantaged communities and see all of the amazing work and the, the structure that exists to mobilize. That is more valuable than any physical infrastructure that we could build. You know, we just have to figure out how to, how to empower it. In these last generations, we've kind of lost that connection. Even even as tribal people, we have we, you know, we're just like uh, other Americans. And you go to the supermarket thinking you're buying healthy food for your family, and you figure out it's loaded with sugar and it's loaded with all these other things. So we're in that same mindset of changing, but we're not afraid of that change. How do we democratize the food economy in San Diego County? How do we? And invest in community wealth building models, things like land trusts, things like cooperatives, things like employee ownership. So these are ways that we might be able to invest in creating a better food system that actually supports the people and the workers and the people that are on the receiving end of it.